Sunday. Sean went to church. This is actually my last Sunday not going to church and I'll tell you why in a minute but I wanted to give you guys a little update. Obviously it's been a minute since we've been on here. Um, the holidays ended up being crazy. As you know Christmas Eve service I was a part of. Um, um, I had mentioned in a few videos I was working with the worship pastor of our church just to kind of get things going on that. And what I'm actually going to do is I will link down below the link for you guys to go watch our Christmas service if you want. Like, you don't have to. For sure, don't have to. Obviously, I can't force you. You have to! Um, but, no, you definitely don't have to go watch it. But if you want to see it, um, feel free. I did sing in it um, a bit. Um, I was actually on stage the whole time hiding behind the piano. If you do watch, see if you can spot me. Not the whole time I was hiding behind the piano. But um, when I had to hide, I was hiding behind the piano. Anyway... Um, so Christmas Eve, I was there all day, um, there were three services, and the last service was at 11 p.m. Now, dur earlier that morning, um, when I first woke up, Emery started getting a dry cough. Well, we had opened up the heat vent in our bedroom, which I guess hadn't been opened, but I thought it had, and so I was like, oh, you know, she probably just got some dust in there, is a little allergic, having little allergies, and then, like, she her cough got worse she never got a fever or anything but her eyes got really watery every time she coughed and I'm like oh like she doesn't feel good her nose was getting stuffy and I was like great we were leaving for a freaking Nebraska the next morning like early a.m. we left so she's napping I thought I maybe heard her cry false I did not hear her cry um sometimes like I'm going on five different bunny trails um sometimes like she naps great like she slept all night last night oh my gosh 10 bunny trails you guys first things first sometimes she naps really great and sometimes you can get her to fall asleep when she's fussy and she'll only want to sleep in your arms and then you lay her down and she's asleep for like 15 minutes um and then won't sleep so and then she gets overly tired and gets extra fussy and it's a whole thing so that's the first bunny trail second bunny trail is last night was my first night trialing her um waking us up to feed because normally because she's such a good sleeper um and because she you know was in the NICU and then had an eating aversion and all this stuff we were waking her up to feed her um every three hours and then um eventually I switched it to every four hours just to you know just at night in the daytime she's still eating every three and um so last night was my first time trialing to see her waking up and she woke up so I fed her she went to bed at 9 after a few naps in the day. So she went to bed at 9 and then I woke up at midnight and I fed her. So that was 9, 10, 10, 11. Yeah, that was three hours. And then um, I let her sleep from midnight on. I didn't set an alarm for like the first time since she was born. Um, and so she woke up at 5 a.m. on her own screaming hungry obviously and so I had bottles prepared on the refrigerator just to throw in the bottle warmer and then I pumped afterwards so she did that and I put her back down to bed and I thought maybe she'd wake up around eight um or nine no she woke up at ten so she went two times going five hours oh hello I didn't sleep very good last night for some reason. no were you stressed about her waking up or something I, I don't know I couldn't fall back asleep after I woke up at five well Anna didn't go to sleep till like Two you didn't? I, yeah, 150 to a Why? Why? Uh, I couldn't. I started watching those YouTube videos. I couldn't stop. Uh, so, so listen. So, Amazon returns and things like that, they don't, in the Amazon stores, they, when you buy stuff from Amazon, they don't just take it back. And they, like, show the stuff that they, that they did. Like, like, computer screens, MacBook Pros. Um, like all this craziness. It's like crazy, baby. Oh. So, 
have to show you. You're going to be like, what the heck? I feel like I've heard of that before, though. I have heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. And I have a set on like two were good still. But those two were both worth, one was worth 2000 and one was worth 1500 So he literally made all his money back on, on those two screens. So, it's pretty nice. Yeah. You can tell me more about it and show me when you get home, though. I know. Can you tell I'm excited? Obviously, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I love you. Love you. Bye. Well, Sean's a little excited about whatever. I don't even know what I was saying. Emmer being sick. So anyway, <laughs> back to our story. Emery wasn't feeling good on Christmas Eve. I thought it was from dust. Um, and then Sean had to leave because we were actually going to take her to the hospital. Um, just because we're like, I don't know what's wrong. We're trying to leave town. Blah, blah, blah. So anyways, early a.m. the next morning on Christmas Day, we left at like our house at like 6 a.m. And then we flew to Nebraska, where Emery still wasn't feeling good and had a bad cough and was congested and all this nonsense. And I want to say the 27th, she we took her to a pediatrician there, like an after-hours pediatrician. And uh, they tested her for RSV, and she tested positive. So she had RSV. And then the next day, because we have the outlet on, she's just said, like, if her oxygen gets low, they don't give them oxygen until their oxygen's at 90% and all this stuff. And we were watching her oxygen on the outlet as she slept, and it was getting to, like, 87%. And we are like, frick. So we take her to the hospital. And, of course, they have to wrap her foot in, like, the monitor to test her. They test her out in the lobby before they took her back to test her oxygen. And she was screaming. And so, of course, her oxygen was at 100% when we got there but they took us back and they put on her foot and then while she was awake it was around 100 percent 97 percent and then as soon as she'd go to sleep it was dropping and they got to clear her nose out really really well and then gave us saline and then we went and bought the thing to suck that what is that thing called you guys know what it's called um or you don't um those little like ball things don't work so like, there's a new thing where you can like it sounds way grosser than it is um, where you like literally suck the snot out of their nose, but there's like a stopper, so no mucus comes up the tube. Anyway, we got that, and it was like a life changer, and that helped her so much. That was like key to getting her better was to making sure that she was clear, and because she didn't, she wouldn't eat like a ton all at once. Like she didn't do her three ounce, like she does three ounces every three hours right now. Because she wasn't doing that, um, she didn't have the stamina. We were giving her an ounce an hour. So she was staying really, really hydrated. Um, all her wet diapers, still pooping, still smiling. So she whooped. And I mean, she whooped RSV's butt. Um, and then we had to fly home. And then as soon as we flew home, we had discussion. Because financially, I need to go back to work. And I start work tomorrow. And Emery starts daycare tomorrow, and she's completely free of RSV. She's completely better. Best possible case scenario of me going back to work. Um, she is going to be at the daycare that is on campus. So um, that makes me feel better. That way, if there's ever issues or she's not eating or whatever, give me a phone call, send me a text, and I'll walk on over and I'll feed her. And I can go feed her when I want, and I can pump and take her fresh milk. So yeah. So that was, it's just been crazy from, you know, Christmas services, me having to be there for practices and then me be all there all day Christmas Eve and we had 11 p.m. service and I didn't get home or get to go to bed until after 1 a.m. and like packing to go to Nebraska and then we were in Nebraska for eight days and I was totally gonna vlog and film um, and... Emery had RSV and I was just nervous wreck the whole time, but she was such a champ and such a good baby. Um, so yeah, I was a little, a little stressed, but I'm actually going to vlog today. I just wanted to get this video up. So this video is going to be up today as I'm filming Sunday, and then I'm going to vlog today's day, like a normal vlog, and then I'll post that starting tomorrow. Um, just wanted to give you guys just an update of what's been going on 
Emery's good. She's beautiful. I'll show you her. She's actually been napping in her own crib. She still sleeps in our room in um in a pack and play, but um she is in her bed. So you can be quiet so you don't wake her up. Okay, so I'm going to make my coffee and then we're gonna vlog for the day. But I love you guys. Um, thank you for um, <clears throat> joining our channel. I need you to leave me a comment because I do have a lot of new subscribers, which by the way, welcome. Um, and I know that you guys are new and our videos all started off as like fertility. And so now that it's more like family vlog, um, ask me questions, put, um, comments down below some questions you guys want to know about us. Um, also, um, at the end of this video, there'll be a thing for you guys to follow us on Instagram. I'll put a post there, um, for you guys to ask questions as well. So feel free to ask questions there. Feel free to ask questions here. I'll be answering them, um, from both. So it, just get to know us. Anything. Anything at all. I can't promise that if you ask something really bad, that I'll answer. Um, because I'm probably gonna pick and choose. But, uh, ask anything at all. Um, we're pretty open books, so chances are we'll probably answer. Um, so yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. If this is your first time here, welcome. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And... Yep, I feel weird because I'm just gonna continue vlogging my day. Bye-bye!